Hey guys, it's uh, my name's Craig from The Slightly Unusual. This is The Slightly Unusual YouTube channel. And it's nine o'clock, it's a Thursday, which means it's time for magic stuff. And I have something very important to tell you, which is I absolutely love tricks that involve taking a pack of cards and having a card picked and tearing it up. Torn card tricks have been around for years and years and years, and there are some absolutely amazing ones. But you know what most magicians do? Most magicians do a torn and restored card. And I understand why, because from a, a, a visual point of view, it's so visual. If anyone's seen Guy Hollingsworth or Danny, uh, da you know, Daniel Garcia or Cameron Francis or any of those big heavyweights, and they do their torn and restored card, it is a thing of beauty. It absolutely is. For many, many years, I did the J.C. Wagner Torn and Restored card and the Tommy Wonder Torn and Restored card and various different versions like that. Torn and Restored card is great, but what magicians forget is there are many different other effects that you can do with tearing a card rather than just restoring it. This video is all about three different, three tricks involving tearing cards that you have probably never seen before. And the reason is these tricks have been around for a very, very long time. And it's that old expression, isn't it? If it's not, uh, if it's not new, it's old or something like that, it's probably not the right way to say it. But the point is, we forget about some of the older tricks in our rush to learn the newer tricks. And I don't see many magicians doing tricks with a torn card outside of the classic torn and restored card. So I'm gonna share with you three routines um, that you've probably not seen before using to uh, torn cards in a very different, very unique way. And uh, I'm gonna tell you why they're great and I'm gonna tell you where you can actually go to learn these routines. Now, before we do this, two things. First of all, please subscribe to the channel. Second of all, uh, let me explain to you very quickly why I love routines with torn cards. And I think the best, uh, the best way this was ever put was by Gary Jones, who is an amazing UK magician. I remember him saying once that uh, the thing with a torn card is it really gets the audience's attention immediately. And it really does. Most lay people, uh, they can't fathom tearing a card up. It's a, it's a completely ridiculous alien concept to them. And the reason is most laymen, they have their family deck of cards around the house that they've had for years. And, you know, they, they play games with it and they get it out on an evening and they wouldn't dream of tearing that card up. So they see you take a pack of cards and rip a card up. It's like, what? Why would you possibly do that? So immediately it gets the attention of the audience. They are invested, which I think is half the battle. When you're performing, you want to try and grab the audience's attention and really tear Tearing a card is a great way to do that. And a lot of the time, if you tear a card, the audience is gonna think, right, you're gonna restore it. And if you don't go down that route and instead you do something else, it makes it even better. So, like I said, three routines using tears in cards that don't involve restoring them. You've probably never seen them before. Let's start off with routine number one. Okay, so the first routine is by Jay Sankey. Now, this was uh, something that Jay put out many, many, many years ago on one of his many DVDs. If you've got the three books by Jay, it's in there. Let's have a look at it first of all. Right, okay, so uh, let me show you uh, this routine. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, it uses a pack of playing cards. I've got Sarah behind the camera. Sarah, do me a favor, just say stop. Stop. Amazing, good stuff. Uh, doesn't really matter where you stop, that's not important. What's important is the uh, the card that you stopped at, which is the Two of Diamonds. Are you happy with that one? Yeah. Cool stuff. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the Two of Diamonds and I'm gonna give it a tear right there. I'm gonna tear it, just a small tear, just so you know where it is. You keep an eye on that tear. Can you do that for me? There's the Two of Diamonds. Now we're gonna need another card as well. Uh, say stop. Stop. That's great, and again, it doesn't really matter what the card is. Let me have a look and see what we've got this time. We've got the Jack of Diamonds. Are you okay with that one, sir? Yes. Cool stuff. So, put the rest of the cards away. We've got the Jack of Diamonds, and we have the Two of Diamonds. Watch this, watch the tear right there. Watch the tear. All I have to do is pull the tear. I'm gonna pull the tear. I'm gonna try and make the tear jump once, twice three times and I can pull the tear off the two of diamonds and just like that I can actually pull that tear right there onto the jack of diamonds. So that's an amazing visual. This moment here where the tear jumps from one card to the other 
It's absolutely perfect. The, the visual, that move is normally used, I'm sure you all know, that move where you pull the, uh, the rip from one card to another, it's normally used with a, uh, uh, with a signature in sort of like a, an anniversary waltz style routine. But in this routine, Jay's used the, uh, uh, used the same move to pull the, the, uh, the rip onto another card and it looks amazing. Now, uh, the downside to this, just so you know, is you do have to use a dupe in this routine and uh, you destroy the dupe every single time. Now, I don't know about you, but I always have a dupe in my deck. The downside to this is once you've done this, the dupe is gone, you're done. So there's a couple of different options here. The first option is you have a few different spare cards in your top pocket and you, uh, you know, when you've done this routine and you go to the next table, you grab another one and you create another dupe. Or if you want to use the same dupe, you could use like a 52 on one card and just a few, sorry, a, 50, um, a 52 deck, a forcing deck, a one-way forcing deck, and you know, shove a few cards in your top pocket, uh, but you are going to destroy your dupe every single time. That's the only downside in this. For me, this is great because I always follow, I always proceed this routine with a, uh, a, a transposition between two cards. Because I'm actually using a dupe anyway, it makes that transpo really, really visual and really, really easy to do. Uh, so I do the transpo, I do a two-phase transpo, and then I say, well, let's, let's try this one more time. Let's make it so that we know exactly where that, uh, that two is the entire time. I'll give the two a tear. And it's almost like uh, I, I'm, I'm not doing this, you know, to do a magical moment with it. I'm doing it so that they can keep an eye on the two. And then I take the jack and I say, actually, let's see if we can go one step further. Instead of the cards changing places, we will make the rip change places. And at the end, everything's examinable. You're left with an examinable deck of cards. You can give this out for a souvenir. It's just a really strong moment. And it's the perfect example of a trick that you can do with tearing a card that doesn't necessarily involve putting it back together because the, the trick would be weakened if you put the if you put the tear back together. I'll be honest with you, I think it would. Uh, from an angle's point of view, it's completely angle-proof. It's a regular deck. Um, it can be done in the hands of the spectators. You don't need a table. You can incorporate it into longer routines. It's absolutely brilliant. It's available. You can get it on one of two places. It's on uh, I think volume three of Jay Sankey's LNL set, which is available as a download from uh, LNL Publishing. Or it's in Sankey's set of three books, which Vanishing Ink put out. And if you haven't got those books, you really should get them. They're fabulous. But this is a perfect example of Jay Sankey's really clever thinking. And uh, it's a really commercial routine. If you don't do it, try it out. You'll love it. Okay, so the second routine is by a very famous uh, English magician uh, by the name of Lee Smith. A lot of you might know him. He's an amazing magician. Uh, we'll talk about where you can find this routine in a bit, but this trick is amazing. This is one of my favorite tricks to do, period. So it uses a pack of playing cards, and uh, I should tell you before we do anything that I have in my pocket a card, and I'm actually torn the corner off that card. I think you can see that, torn the corner off the card. That's kind of like a prediction. I'm not going to show you what that card is right now. Um, but we're going to use a pack of uh, a pack of playing cards. Sarah, you're going to pick a card for me here. Uh, now you're behind the camera, so I'll, I'll spread them out face up. You can have any one you want to, but I'm going to write your name on it. So uh, ideally, one with a bit of white space. What would you like? Mm. There's quite a few there. Take your time. That, uh, two of clubs. Is it two of clubs you've just passed? Um, there's a three of clubs. Yeah, that'll do. That one there. Okay, cool. So uh, Sarah's operating the camera, so I am going to write her name. For her, we'll put Sarah and we'll put a little smiley face. The nice thing about this routine is it uses a sign card from a shuffle deck in use. So there you go. So Sarah's picked a card. Sarah's signed a card. Now, the idea is I'm going to show you something cool and then show you something amazing. But first of all, something cool. I'm going to take Sarah's three of clubs, pop it about halfway down, about halfway down. Now, check this out. This is really weird. Look, all I have to do is press the button right there. Now, when I press that button, what happens... Nope, nothing happens yet. It takes a few seconds. Hang on, let me try that again. One, two, three. There you go. When I press that button, Sarah's card penetrates all the way up through all the other cards, comes straight to the top of the deck. Now, maybe you didn't know what was going to happen. Let's face it, you didn't know. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do it again. Look, I'm going to take that three. Uh, I'm going to pop it about halfway down. I want you to see that it really is going about halfway down. Nothing happens until I snap my fingers. And when I snap my fingers... Sarah's card comes straight to the top of the pack. Now that's pretty cool, and I could keep doing this, and I could keep doing this all day, all night, but I'm gonna go one step further. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Sarah's card, 
and I'm going to tear the corner off the card. Now, if Sarah was here, I would put that corner in her hand and get her to hold on to it. She's not here, but if she was, she'd be uh, she's behind the camera. But this would now be held tightly in Sarah's hand. And then, obviously, I've got this. Uh, I've got the rest of the card here with the little uh, the corner torn off. Now, I want you to watch. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do this. This is really tough. This is not an easy thing to do. But I'm going to try and actually. Oh, I think I've got it. There you go. I can actually restore the card completely. Look at that. Sarah's card, signed card, and it's been restored completely. Which leaves the question, what's in Sarah's hand? Because there's now a, a corner in her hand. It can't be the corner of this one because that's restored. Well, Sarah would then open up her hand and she would see that the corner is of the Queen of Hearts, which is very, very interesting because at the very, very beginning, I showed a card in my pocket with a torn corner off it as a prediction. And that is the Queen of Hearts. And you will see that that corner matches exactly. So that's... Um, by Lee Smith. Now, let me tell you, first of all, where you can find this, and then I'll tell you why I love it so much. So, uh, many, many years ago, through RSVP, uh, which is Russ Stevens Video Production, I believe, that's what it stands for, it's Russ Stevens uh, Production Company, Magic Production Company, um, he bought out a routine, uh, he bought out a DVD set called Eye Candy, and uh, it was uh, it was an amazing, uh, honestly, it's one of the best DVDs you'll ever see, it's well worth getting, and it starred two amazing magicians, Lee Smith, and Gary Jones, and they put different routines on each, and this is one of the routines. Now, a lot of people missed this or didn't do it, and it's a shame because it's such a great routine. Now, I think one of the reasons that a lot of people missed this is because there is so much awesome material on uh, the Eye Candy DVD that a lot of people just gloss over it. It's just like, oh my God, that's amazing, that's amazing, that's amazing. I can't learn everything. And sometimes when, you, when you're learning routines off a multi-effect DVD, you sometimes forget about something that involves destroying a card because it's like, oh, I'll get back to that. I don't want to destroy my cards. Um, so this was glossed over a little bit. I've never seen anyone else do this. Uh, I do it an awful lot. I think it's absolutely brilliant. So, <clears throat> first of all, as long as you have one card in your pocket with a corner torn off, you are good to go, okay? Uh, you are absolutely good to go. As long as you've got a card in a pocket with a corner torn off, you're good to go. It uses a shuffle deck in use that you don't need any gimmicks in the deck. You don't need any extras in the deck. You don't need anything. You can go into it. As long as you've got this card in your pocket, you can go into it. Uh, you don't need a table. Uh, it's all done walk around. The magic happens in the spectator's hand. Um, obviously, I didn't have a spectator here with me, but it's such a kind of an insane moment because you've got this card here. And what happens is you restore the corner and you show them that the corner is restored. And they immediately kind of go, well, what about the corner piece? Because they can feel it still in their hand. And when they then turn that over and you see that that's actually uh, a queen of hearts, a completely different corner, that freaks them out. And then when you reach into your pocket and you show the card, which they've forgotten about because you showed it initially at the beginning, it's another moment. And it's almost like you get so many big hits at the end of the routine. It's kind of like... Boom, first of all, the card restores itself. Boom, the corner piece changes. Boom, you take the card out of your pocket and it matches exactly. And you can give them this as a souvenir. Uh, they can have this as a souvenir. Um, they can even have their signed card as a souvenir if they want to. And you are still in a position where you're ready to immediately do this at the next table if you want to. So it's so amazing. And again, you know, this transposition is just heightened by having this corner torn off. Um, it's brilliant. It's well worth learning. Uh, the Eye Candy DVD set uh, is absolutely brilliant. Uh, Lee Smith and, and Gary Jones are awesome magicians. And this is just one of many great routines on that DVD set. But this, I've never seen anyone do this. And honestly, when you perform this to lay people, you will 100% blow them away. There are so many positives. There's no negatives. Just do it and then let me know in the comments what you think when you've, uh, when you've gone out and performed it. Okay, so this is the final routine using Torn cards that you probably have never seen before. And I'm back with Jay Sankey, mainly because Jay is one of the most prolific creators of magic that's ever lived. 
um, and he's done a lot of stuff with torn cards, but this is another genius routine that you've probably never seen before. Come a little bit closer and I'll perform the routine for you. Okay, so this is, uh, this, is, this is an amazing routine, it really is. It uses a pack of playing cards, 52 cards, obviously, uh, and I'm gonna get my glamorous assistant behind the camera, Sarah, to help me again. Sarah, just say stop. Stop. Cool, again, it doesn't really matter which card you've picked, I'm allowed to look at it, the, uh, the, the six of clubs, are you okay with that? Yeah. Cool, all I'm gonna do, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a tear in this card. Now, I want you to tell me, Sarah, is that a real tear or is that an illusion? Looks real. It looks like a real tear, doesn't it? I mean, it really does look like a real tear. I've got to be honest with you, it is a real tear. But as a magician, I should be able to repair that tear. And I can, I can. Let me show you what I do to repair that tear. Try and watch it very carefully. All I have to do is rub the tear. And when I do, you can see that I've actually been able to fix that tear by having a Band-Aid appear on your Six of Clubs, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> but obviously, I haven't really fixed it. I've just given it a temporary fix. But if I snap my fingers and then just take the Band-Aid off, you can see that the tear has now completely disappeared. Mm -hmm. Such an amazing trick. As we were repositioning the camera, my wife Sarah said to me, that's such a Jay Sankey trick. And it really is. It's the sort of thing that you just look at it and you go, that's Jay Sankey. It's got Jay Sankey written all over it. But I love this approach. Now, I know I kind of said at the beginning of the video that I wasn't going to do any torn and restored cards. And I know technically that is a torn and restored card. But in reality, it's not. When you think torn and restored card, it's tearing a card, putting it back together, piece by piece restoration, something like that. This is just, as Paul Harris would say, a moment of strange because what happens is well you just saw it you know you tear the card they're convinced that they've seen the, the card torn you haven't torn the card completely you've just torn part of it and then boom the band-aid comes back uh, appears which is just a really funny moment you know you say you're going to repair the card and then a band-aid comes there and then you take that card off and then you pull the band-aid off and the card's restored it is so magical i've performed this for years and it never fails to get an amazing reaction um now what i would say about this is uh obviously from a downside from a negative point of view you need to have um you get through one of those band-aided cards every single time you perform but it leaves you with the Deck and you know you're not getting rid of any cards out of the deck every time you're still left with a full deck of cards uh, what I tend to do when I'm going to perform this routine is I'll just get myself a whole bunch of band-aids I'll get like 20 or 30 band-aids I'll prep 20 or 30 cards I'll take a few of them out put them in my top pocket and I'm good to go I can repeat this every single time now uh, you might be thinking well it's not a signed card and no it can't be a signed card but in all honesty that doesn't really make a difference nobody watches this routine and says well you know what that would have been better if the card had been signed that's just something that nobody ever says ever. So uh, the positives to this, well, first of all, it just looks amazing. Again, there's no table. You can do it walk around. It's a really quick moment. You know, sometimes when you're performing at events and there's a lot of people and you haven't got time to get around everybody and you want to be really quick and snappy. This is a really quick, snappy routine that's super visual. It's very, very, very easy to do. To reset it, it's a five second reset. You just grab another card and you reset, ready to go again. There's just no downside to this. It's really, really good. Um, I think the reason that so many people do it, don't do it, and I haven't seen many people do it. I think some people are aware of it, but I haven't seen a lot of people do it. Now, I originally learned this, I think in Richard Zelmanyak uh, by Richard Kaufman, which I've talked about on this channel before, which was a collection of, uh, Richard Kaufman put out uh, a magazine called Richard Zelmanyak well before, uh, well before Genie. And I learned, I, I got the, the you know what, the very first time I went to Tannen's Magic Shop, I bought the Collected Almanac from Tannen's Magic Shop, and it's still, to this day, one of the best books that I have ever bought. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, but I think I, I think I learned it in there, in the Jay Sankey special. There was a Jay Sankey special in there. 
Um, but it's been in a couple of different things that he's done. It's been in a couple of DVDs. I'm pretty sure it's in the LNL set. It's definitely in his big book of magic, but you don't see many people doing it. And I think because Jay has brought out so much material, he's brought out so many effects, he's brought out so many routines that a lot of people forget some of the stuff he does. And this is something that I think a lot of people forget, or maybe they learn it and they forget it. But honestly, if you've never tried this to real people, then you absolutely should do because because it is another example of a routine with a torn card that even though you aren't restoring it, it gets insane reactions. So there you go. I promised you on this video three um, routines with torn cards that don't involve putting them back together you've probably never seen before. So I want you to do me a favour. Let me know in the comments which, which tricks, is there any that you've seen before? Which ones have you performed? How do you find them? How have they gone for you? Are there any that you've seen that you kind of think, right, I want to put that into my set? Are there any other routines with torn cards that you can let me know about so I can do a follow-up video? And also, this is the second one of these that I did. A couple of weeks ago, I did the, um, you know, I did the three packet tricks you've probably never heard of. Now I've done the three card, three routines with torn cards you've probably never heard of. Is there other stuff that you'd like me to look at and do as well? Are there other things that you'd like me to kind of delve deep into and, uh, and, and do a video on? Please let me know in the comments and most importantly please subscribe uh, to the channel we're putting content up every single day I'm back tomorrow with another rant and then there's a video going live at six o'clock a performance video as well thank you very much for watching uh, I'll see you again my name's Craig from Slightly Unusual